and girls, welcome to Olivia's video. Have you ever wondered how people started studying science based on their own observations? Well, today I will talk you through a certain time in history that changed how people thought about the universe, the scientific revolution. The scientific revolution was a time when scholars began to gain knowledge by observing the world around them and coming up with the logical explanations for what they saw. Long before the revolution, most educated people who studied the world took guidance from the Bible. During the scientific revolution, these people placed more importance on what they observed and less on what they were told. Throughout the scientific revolution, many scientists from many different fields contributed to provide the knowledge we learn in school today, but some of them stood out among the rest. In the field of astronomy, Nicholas Copernicus published a famous paper in 1543 called On the Revolutions of the Heavenly Spheres in which he stated that the sun was the center of the universe. This idea was considered to have launched the scientific revolution. It was later confirmed by another astronomer named Johannes Kepler and eventually discovered laws in planetary motion that were related to Copernicus theory. In physics, started running experiments and testing out their ideas. This concept set the foundation of the scientific method, which was studied by Galileo Galilei. He made major contributions in astronomy, but his achievements in physics are far more relevant in modern science, which earned him the title, the father of modern physics. His most popular inventions were the early thermometer and his own version of a telescope, which enabled people to see through the outer space. Another important scientist during the scientific revolution was Isaac Newton. He discovered the law of universal gravity. Apparently, this discovery happened when he saw an apple falling down from a tree. And this led him to the conclusion that whatever goes up must come down. Have you heard of calculus? Well, he invented it too, along with his many other scientific discoveries. William Harvey was a physician who studied blood circulation and proposed that the heart is a human mechanic engine that pumps blood through the body. This has been one of the most important discoveries in science that influenced modern medicine. He went his own way and was the only person in the science field that studied anatomy instead of astronomy or other areas of science. Although these scientists had made major discovery in various fields, some of their theories were dismissed by the Catholic Church for they weren't based on the divine writings. Some of them have even been punished in which they have met their tragic end. In fact, an astronomer named Giordano Bruno was even burned at by the order of the Pope for his theory about heaven and infinite universe and multiple worlds. Many of the great minds of the scientific revolution contribute new ideas that became the foundation of science we study today. They discovered many inventions that made our lives much easier than before, like the telescope, thermometer, barometer, the concave lens, and a lot more. Even though some of these scores were religious, they have set aside their faith to be able to think reasonably and provide us with much needed understanding of the world that we live in. That was it for the scientific revolution. I hope you learned a lot because I sure did. Thanks again.
again for joining me in today's video. See you on my next one.